Hi guys, it's Debbie again from HealingFromBPD.org. So this video I am going to embed into my blog post on dissociation, depersonalization, and racing thoughts. It's a mindfulness exercise and it's often used in DBT groups, that's dialectical behavior therapy, which is used these days to treat a lot of mental illnesses, but it was originally designed by Dr. Marsha Linehan to uh, treat borderline personality disorder. So for those who are familiar with DVT, whose classes use the CD that she has, has about a dozen or so uh, mindfulness exercises of about five minutes in length, you'll be familiar. So this might um, be a familiar exercise for you. We do this particular one quite frequently for some reason in my class, but I enjoy it, so I'm not complaining. Um, those who have not had the opportunity to yet experience DVT, this might be a little bit of a treat for you to get a glimpse into the mindfulness exercises that we do. So for the first five minutes of a DVT class, uh, the teacher pops in this CD from Dr. Marsha Linehan, at least in my group. So if it's different other places, please let me know. I'd be curious. Um, and like I said, there's about a dozen tracks and they pick one. And for five minutes, we essentially sit in silence. And I know some of you are going, oh my God, five minutes. And I know the feeling. There are some days where I just want to jump out of my skin because five minutes seems horrifically long. Um, but yes, five minutes. And some days it's easier than others. And there's a particular focus or exercise that's done during that time. So you're not just mindless or I guess, are you mindful or mindless? But you're not just sitting there uh, with no direction Why don't at all. I get into it? And if you want the link to the CD, I will put that in the down bar. If you haven't read my blog post yet that's associated with this video, I'm going to put that down in the down bar as well. You may want to pause this, open up another browser window and go check that out because this is going to make a whole lot more sense. You're going to need about five minutes for the exercise and then I'll probably talk a bit for another two minutes afterwards. So do this when you have some time and you can be alone and relax a bit and not get interrupted so that you can really enjoy the experience and um, experience everything it has to offer. And then I'm going to put uh, this image, which I'm going to show you right now. This is an image I created of the conveyor belt with thoughts coming at you, which I'm going to explain in a moment. Um, I'm just going to have that up on the screen because you're not going to actually want to look at the video. You're going to be finding a spot to gaze at, which I'll get to in a moment. So for the five minutes, I'm just going to throw that up on the screen just to have something up there. And then at the end of the five minutes, I will go ahead and take that down and talk to you again for a so couple So you want minutes, to okay? sit down in an upright position to where you're, you can feel your feet on the surface below you. So you feel grounded, your feet are connected, you're touching the ground. Sit a little bit upright just to stay alert because you don't want to fall asleep. <laughs> if you do, that's okay, but that's not the goal of this one. Maybe I'll do another video to help if you're having insomnia or sleep issues. But I'm going to do three bells. I want you to just try to clear your mind, which I know can be really difficult, especially if you've been experiencing racing thoughts. Trust me, I know. But do your best, and then you're going to picture that conveyor belt. And you're standing at the end of it. And every thought that comes into you, into your mind and into your awareness, you're going to imagine sorting it into a pail or a bucket that has a label. So for example, let's say I'm doing this exercise and then I think uh, I have to make something for dinner tonight. What am I going to make? I don't get caught up and engaged in that thought. I call that a dinner thought and I put it in the dinner thought bucket. <laughs> Um, if I have another thought about later tonight, like, oh, I wonder what's on television, what am I going to watch? Later tonight thought. So, like, see what I'm doing? I'm noticing the thought, sorting it, and not getting caught up and engaged in it. And just, just a thought. That's all it is. Um, you might get an urge to quit. Uh, so, when that comes, you just notice it and go, an urge to quit has come up. So, I'll put that in my urge bucket, and then you keep going. Um, so I'll share with you why I think that particular one is kind of exciting after you're done with the exercise because I want to see what your experience is. But do you get it? So whatever start, whatever you think, whatever thought comes up, categorize it. Imagine putting it into a pail and just keep watching. Just allow the next thing to come, next thing to come. 
And don't worry if you're thinking a lot because that's what the brain does. You or you're not bells. doing anything wrong. Um, at which time, please pick a, a spot on the ground maybe where you can have a gentle gaze. Let's get started.
Welcome back. So, um, I will respond to all comments, so I look forward to any of those that may come. So, how was that for you? What did you notice? Did you notice that your thoughts were fast? Maybe they were slow? Maybe you had tons of thoughts? Maybe you didn't have very many thoughts at all? Did you do the exercise where you sorted things into pails? What kind of pails did you have? I'd be curious to know what you named some of them. What else did you notice about your experience? You might want to pause the video and go ahead and make a comment and then I'm going to continue so speaking. So the thing I wanted to tell you that I was excited about with the urges, when the urges come, is if you get the urge to quit and you just sort that as a, a thought has arisen that I have the urge to quit and put it in a bucket and keep going, Think about what this can do for, let's say, self-harm urges, self-destruction, impulsive behavior. When I learned this technique through DBT, it was so awesome because I finally realized that just because I have an urge or an impulse to do something that's going to make matters worse or that might only make me feel better in the moment but cause you know more problems in the long run that I didn't have to act on that so I didn't have to jump from I totally want to just stand up and quit this job right now which I've done on a number of occasions um, to doing it so I go and I do it and that's it it's done and then maybe a couple of hours later my emotion regulates a bit and I regret it and it's too late I've self-sabotaged right with this technique if you apply it during the day in real life you might what you would do is you would go ahead and notice, I, okay, I have the urge to just quit my job right now, or I have the urge to just cut myself, or I have the urge to just, you know, say something I'm really going to regret and it's not going to be good. Okay, then I notice the urge has arisen within me to do X, Y, Z. And it puts the power and the choice back in your hands. You don't have to go there. You don't have to do it. You can say, and I'm going to go use my DBT skills, and I'm going to go call my therapist or psychiatrist, and I'm going to go for a walk. And once you do that, or do a worksheet 1A from Emotion Regulation from the DBT Binder, and once you do that, once you keep continuing having little successes like that, I believe, just like me, your confidence is going to grow in your ability to continue to heal and get well from the devastation of this disorder because you're going to learn to control and learn to decipher what is a thought, what is a feeling, what is a fact, and that you have, I have, we have the power within us to choose how we are going to respond to those things. Um, in the blog post as well, I get into how to decipher between a thought, a feeling, and a fact, which is also really important. Thank you guys for watching. Um, as I said in the previous video, I'm doing this as a supplement to my blog. I'd like to know if it's really worth it to you, if you feel like you're getting something out of it, if I'm providing a service you think would be helpful, because it is an investment of time. And uh, so that feedback would be greatly appreciated. I'll put my Facebook and Twitter down below, and you can always go to my blog. I have an email link. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you feel better as a result of watching this. And I will see you on my blog and in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.